Beautiful beings, can we take a moment of silence to honor the seed keepers of the many traditions around the world? This is all about me, Kuwaja City. I am the founding executive of Authentic Creations Publishing Apothecary, and we are here to do a behind the scenes of my process around creating seed keeping, my newest scene. In the office is Sarang Yoon, at least uh, virtually, our apprentice, and she was just amazing in making sure this got done, being my um, accountability buddy for sure. So thank you, Sarang. And as you can witness, this is almost fully completed. Um, I have one page to go, and then I am sending it off to the printer. So this is my template. So what I do is just take about five or six pages, fold them in half, and they're almost blank. They're recycled paper, um, so sometimes there's something on it. But so it's empty. I just start putting in things that I want, just setting it in here. If you saw the printed matter um, video, or you might want to go back to it, seed keeping is featured in there in an earlier um, part of the process. So once I have kind of the content I want, I place it in the pages and slowly start gluing it in using previous images. I also type um, on a document and print it out. So then those solid pages definitely cover up anything that was under there or sometimes uh, what's under there shows through. So it's all collage. That was the piece that fell out. I could staple this. I just thought of that in that, this moment. I'm like, why don't I staple the pages? <laughs> all right, making this video has helped me so much already. Um, so something new about this scene, there's just more play, more interaction. This is a plant harvesting wheel. Um, me and this red ant have been doing a dance, so I just thought it was in my robe, but it's paranoia. Or something else. I don't think I'm looking for the fun. So there's that, where you put in your own information about where you live and the plants that grow there. This one also has like a cherry game. You find the cherries around, which this page of the cherry and they're just throughout I don't actually know how many there are that's for you to figure out but this is kind of like a hidden image um, and what to find hidden image so that's something I've been doing I always am doing educational illustrations so those are in here as well all of our zines come with a packet of seeds I usually decide where those go later but this looks like what to grow is a perfect page there's a <laughs> looking at this backwards there's this bit to tape in the seed packet I've been doing these um, envelopes on the back so you can just put a piece of tape along the bottom and send it off to whomever with a one stamp I think it's 50 cents and let's definitely rally behind the public service of the post service um, please um, the covers are usually in a collage format. I made this image when I was in Blanter, Malawi of a baobab tree. This is a sticker I found. This image is made by Kristen, the editor at um, I will put it below. Uh, we did the breeze block together on land reparations. I think it's called Failed Architecture, a design group. Um, and then this image I found uh, just in a magazine of a baobab tree. Collage them all together. Seed keeping is also from a magazine. Um, 
I definitely take out little bits for magazines and put them all in an envelope and bring them all out, pick what I like, put it aside, put everything else back in the envelope, and then work with those pieces to create something. So that's also this is a bit of a collage and at first this was on the cover but they're just it just didn't make sense you know with what was going on yeah and just little doodles from my journals um, are in here so I do love that I've never really made anything about the progress or how I do this um, but the last page shows I usually mark it so I come back to the pages that are still in process um, this is like popping off from the glue and you have that the rest of an image that Sarong made from the other page. Um, so I'm new on Patreon. Please find us if you have interest in Moonly Giving. There's also some cherries left and the Patreon, I haven't uh, fully put my account online so I want that um, link and everything in here. So that's the last thing on this page. I um, Once I figure out what I want on a page, I paper clip it in so that it stays. I'm gonna start stapling this binding so that it's a little less precarious. Um, so when I'm done with this, I bring it to the printer. I double side copy all of them to make like a printable template on eight and a half by 11 paper. This will be in color. The back and the front will be in color and all the rest will be in black and white, even though ah, it's falling out again. Some of it's in color right now. Um, black and white makes it uh, more cost effective for the consumers and whoever's replicating it and that's what we're about here um what else can I give you on this so I thought I would show what kind of it looks like some people um, are curious so I have like this plant wheel you can I made this uh, sea hibiscus and it didn't really fit in the bubble, so I cut and pasted it in a kind of a new way to fit in that space. And so that's collaged. Uh, these few bits are cut and pasted in the Japanese language. Each zine has a different language or a continuation of a language. And so um, Sarang found Japanese and the characters and the pronunciation and kind of like an English way. Um, so I have that, I have my example, and then this inner ring is also my example. And so this is the collage page, and then this is off the printer. You can, um, it still kind of holds that artsy collage look, but it has a more of like, a finished feature as well. Um, I'm not sure if a zine can ever be high-end art, but um, this is my process. And then this template, I usually do some kind of um, spiritual thing with it. Um, and it um, transmutes into a different form, as does my work. Yay! So thank you so much for joining me. I guess uh, I talked a little bit of the collaborations. I was doing um, cooperative gardens commission and one of the core organizers of the beginnings of that group during this. I was also pushed out of the group by the other people of heritage, um, mostly the elders actually. So that was a new experience. Some of my other collaborations are Mayo Buenafeze, a professor at the University of San Francisco. Definitely check out her courses if you are in that area and you're studying anthropology or just need some electives. She is doing a lot of food justice work through the university. I love Mayo. Um, I said to wrong, I said Kristen. Um, it definitely has some resources in it. Each one has a reflections um, area. Um, so I definitely um, invite you to journal. I think those are mostly all of our collaborations for this. Um, definitely Soulfire Farm is doing these 
Texas to Farmers, which I'll be on in April. But until then, they have plenty of episodes for you to tune into um, off of their website. I'll put a few of these links in the comments, but they're also definitely all in the resource section of the scene. Oops. So, definitely find your indigenous-led, spiritual-led resources. Oh, yes, I'm so excited. Um, collaboration, some challenges, uh, just the longevity. I just started this like a little bit before coronavirus and I'm ending it now um, just to mark um, the president of the Proud Boys getting it. So, um, and tragically his wife. Um, so those have been some challenges. I'm also uh, experiencing housing insecurity, which has been um, sadly my norm for the last decade. Um, some highlights of this is um, I'm a seed keeper and it was really nice to go down this journey with myself and connect a little bit more in. There's also a page about techniques and traditions. Um, from a different, from a few different cultures, I believe. Kristen is also in here, and um, Simone, and a few um, other people. So thank you for those collaborations. Highlights. I just love zines. Like, hopefully, um, it's clear that I have so much fun making these. I acknowledge the indigenous um, territories when I send posts, and hope you do as well. Um, I love the baobab tree, getting closer to my culture. There's just a lot of highlights um, in personal growth, like this zine getting done is my personal growth and um, being in my full purpose, you know. Um, I guess I have a little more purpose to go. Check out our next video on gender, queer, poly, spiritual pregnancies. That is definitely going to be exciting and we're definitely going to be on um a queer platform talking about gender queer pregnancies so if you have any um thoughts on that or want to get involved in that um, i'm really excited so definitely moving forward seed steward medicine keeper birth worker um my pronouns are this one and the one and i will catch you in the next video um we do love additions so yeah housing stability island life what would i add um yeah maybe a little more transparency making this video gave me a lot of clarity on who i am and what i'm doing and i don't get that outlet very often um yes so thank you if you likey likey did you likey likey if you likey likey please donate